In this video, we will discuss about determinant of antigenicity. Antigens are foreign substances which enter into organisms and induce immune response or they activate B cells and T cells. So, this one is the foreign substances enter into the organism. Uh, they induce the immune response that time they activate B cells or T cells. The area which are presented on antigen, area which is present antigen, which are responsible for binding with immunoglobulin, they are known as antigenic determinant or epitope. So, the small area of chemical group on the antigen molecules that determine specific immune response and react specifically with antibodies is called an antigen antigenic determinant so each and every antigen each and every antigen having specific epitope or antigenic determinant the factor which are influencing that immunogenicity so what are the factors influencing immunogenicity there are number of factors first one is foreign ends second one is molecular size third one is chemical nature of antigen fourth one is physical form of antigen F fifth one is antigen specificity sixth one is species specificity seventh one is organ specificity Eighth one is auto specificity. Ninth one genetic factor. Tenth one age. Eleventh one is degradability. And twelfth one is dose of antigen. Thirteenth one root of administration. And fourteenth one adjuvant. So these are the factors Amma. influencing Amma. immunogenicity. So totally we have fourteen factors influencing that immunogenicity we will discuss one by one first one is foreign ends and antigen must be a foreign substances to the animal to show the immune response that is all those antigen who are more taxonomically apart or more foreign ends for example the organism which belongs to mammals they are foreign to that organism which belong to birds second one is molecular size the molecular size of immunogens must be more than 10,000 daldens if uh, it has to induce that immunological response so if the size is small it will not induce immunogenicity so most active immunogen tend to have a molecular mass of 14,000 to 6 lakh daldens. For example, tetanus toxide, egg albumin, thyroglobulin are highly antigenic because they have got great molecular mass. Insulin, it have 5,700 or either non-antigenic or weakly antigenic so this one molecular size increases means it considered induced immune response low molecular size means not induced immune response third factor is chemical nature and composition of antigen in general more complex substances are more immunogenic antigen are mainly proteins some are polysaccharide also and uh, proteins and polysaccharide are more antigenic lipid they are less antigenic it is presumed that the presence of aromatic radicals is essential for rigidity and antigenicity of a substance so complex substances considered maximum immunogenic example protein and polysaccharide lipid considered as less immunogenic fourth factor 
physical form of antigen. All the particulate antigens are more immunogenic than soluble one. Particulate antigen more immunogenic than soluble one. Secondly, the denatured antigen are more immunogenic than the native one. So we can say that if that antigen is proteinous, proteinous means more immunogenic, lipid means less immunogenic. Next one is antigen specificity. It depends upon the specific active site on the antigenic molecules. That is, one antigen has a specific epitope which bind with the immunoglobulin. Antigenic determinant or epitopes are the region of antigen which specifically bind with antibody molecules. Sixth factor, species specificity. Tissue of all individual in a particular species have a species specific antigen. Human blood protein can be differentiated from animal protein by specific antigen antibody reaction. So, tissue of all individual having specific antigen. Okay, so it is a species specific one. Human blood protein differentiate from animal protein by specific antigen antibody reaction. Next one is organ specificity. Organ specific antigens are confined to particular organ or tissue. For example, sudden protein of brain, kidney, thyroglobulin and lens protein of one species share specificity with that other species. Factor auto specificity the autologous or self antigens are ordinarily not immunogenic but sudden uh, circumstance for examples lens protein thyroglobulin and other may act as a auto antigen so ordinarily they are not immunogenic but under uh, sudden circumstance they act as a auto antigen example lens protein thyroglobulin etc ninth factor genetic factor some substances are immunogenic in one species but not in other similarly some substances are immunogenic in one individual but not in others. Maybe one is responder, another is non-responder. So, it is depends upon our genetic makeup. The species or individual may lack or have altered gene that code for the receptor for antigen on B cell or T cells. They may not have the appropriate gene needed for antigen presenting cell to present antigen to the helper T cell. So these ones, these substances, this human having immunogenic, this one not have immunogenic. Why means because of genetic makeup. Uh, one individual lake or altered gene that code for response for antigen on B cells and D cells. So next factor age. Age can also influence the immunogenicity. The younger one, the older one have less ability to show the immune response to the immunogen or antigen. So younger one have more ability and older one having less immunogenicity. Next one is degradability. Antigen which are easily phagocytosed are generally more immunogenic. This is because most antigen T dependent antigen. Antigen which are easily phagocytosed means 
more immunogenic. The development of immune response required that the antigen may be phagocytosed, processed and presented to helper T cells by an antigen presenting cells. Next factor, dose of the antigen. The dose of administration of an immunogen is also influence the immunogenicity. Administration of immunogen also influencing that immunogenicity. There is a dose of antigen above or below which the immune response will not be optimal. Next one is the route of administration. Generally, the subcutaneous route is better than the intravenous or intragastric route. The route of administration can also alter the nature of response. As you know, uh, antigen administrator intravenously is carried first to the spleen, whereas antigen administered subcutaneously move first to the local lymph node last factor 14th factor adjuvant adjuvant substances uh, that can enhance the immune response to immunogen are known as adjuvant what is adjuvant the substances that can enhance the immune response is known as adjuvant the use of adjuvant however is often hampered by undesirable side effect fever, inflammation, for example, aluminium hydroxide. This adjuvant will increase immune response of the antigen. So, 14 different factors influencing immunogenicity. This one is the statement form. Thanks for watching.